Yeah, they they do they do sell records, but I I I think that that in, in my opinion, I would try to market it to some of the middle-aged folks as well because they're the ones that have money in their pockets probably more than uh, most of the college students here on campus. You know, they they don't have much money. You know, they're all they're trying to uh, save to get by to pay off their loans. So I, I think that their their marketing strategy they could relook at that a little bit. But I. Uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion, you know, for what it's worth. You know what? I, 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 me and you have the same opinion. Well, I, I'm in good company with you, Mr. Brown. And so, In Style Again has been critically acclaimed by uh, some reviewers uh, of music in the, in the industry. I, I think it received a review in Billboard magazine. Very, very uh, positive one, if I remember correctly. But h- how has it been received during your shows? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, it's been received great. You know, I've got standing ovations and everything else from it but you know people love it well i i was i was listening to the opry one night when you sang it i'm I'm not sure if it was the the first weekend that you headed out or the second but i i remember them saying they gave you a, there's a standing ovation here in the opry house and mr jim ed brown's called out for an encore so that must have been pretty special that was very special yes it was so, uh, how does it feel to be recognized again for re- releasing new music? Something that we talked about, you haven't, you have at least a single hasn't been done for maybe over 20 years. It's been quite a while, but it feels good, you know, to have some new product out there. And I'm, in fact, I'm working now on some more songs to, to record and put out there. Hopefully I'll have some new, well, maybe even an album before long. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Are you planning to follow it up with more single releases now that, uh, I guess it's e- it's easier to do on iTunes. Anybody can uh, purchase the single di- directly from there, so it's not right. as not as difficult to the uh, the stretch between singles and albums as it was during just right. the, the tape and CD age. Or uh, are you are you planning to release a full album anytime soon? I'm working on some things now, you know that uh, that I like it awful a lot, and hopefully, you know, we can get in the studio before long. And, and w- will will Bear be producing that record too? I don't know. You know what? I haven't talked to him, but I got a feeling he will be. He should be. Yeah, especially if it has the same mood to in style again. If you're going to be recording songs along the similar line, or, or even not, I think the the production values were were top notch. I'll have to get him off the lake, though. <laughs> he yeah, he he likes to go fishing there. He lives out oh, on yeah. out on that lake near where Johnny Cash lived, right? Well, he goes all over. You know, where whether whether it be there or. That's old Hickory, but he doesn't. He doesn't fish a lot on old Hickory. He goes to some of the other lakes around. He goes to Florida a lot. A lot. And uh, he only books dates whenever he can. Uh, whenever there's a lake close by where he can go fishing. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a there's a tune that Jimmy Dickens recorded for uh, the All Gone Fishing album. That was a special album where everyone sang fishing songs a few years back, and he talks about. It's it's a cute little song about how no one believes him how uh, how big the fish he actually caught was, but the picture weighed twelve pounds, and he he talks about how Bobby Bear doesn't believe him in the song. Yeah, I know. Because I guess that's uh, well, he's one of your fishing buddies too. You like to? I remember one time we were down at the opera. You went to Alaska with Jimmy Dickens or someone to go. You you went quite a bit of ways away to go fishing. I went up there a few times with Jimmy. We had we had a lot of fun. And how's how's Jimmy doing health wise? I know he's been having a little bit of trouble lately. You know what, I haven't talked to him lately, but he's been out at the Opry for a couple of times, you know, here lately, and, and I think he's doing well. He's, uh, he's had, some, uh, had some problems with his vocal cords, and he had to have some operations, some, done, some things done there, and it's, he's still, you know, recouping, but he's doing great. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, he was one of the first guests on my program about five years ago, back when I was doing it, and, and I, when I was on the Opry, I sang Out Behind the Barn, and... Uh, just a tribute to him. I love little Jimmy Dickens. And I, I was about the same height as him back then. Uh, the, the last time I saw him, I was about a foot and a half taller than him. Something like that <laughs> towered over him a little bit. But of course, you would know about that, Jim Ed. You're, you're quite a you're quite a tall, a tall man for those that uh, have never seen you in person. So you, you know the height difference between little Jimmy. Well, there is quite a bit of difference there, isn't it? Yeah, but he's got a big, just as big a personality as anyone I know, and heart too. He and Brenda Lee. Yeah, that's true, Brenda Lee. And uh, I, I know uh, you're a busy guy, Jim Ed, so uh, I'll let you get going soon. I, I really appreciate you appearing here on my show again. It's been a great honor to have you here, and I just wanted to thank you so much. Well, I've enjoyed it very much. And and, 
you know, we'll do it again someday soon. Well, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. You're one of my favorite guests, and it's as soon as you have new music, or even before then, just uh, come on and shoot the breeze a little bit. I, I'd appreciate it. You know, I, I was thinking about, are you familiar with the Roy Clark song, uh, When I Was Young, Back When I Was Young? Oh, yeah. I thought that I think that would be a good uh, song to to follow in style with. He sold a million records of that. Yeah, but I I think you I think you'd even do a better job recording it. I guess is what I'm saying. If if that was one you ever thought about recording, I think it would be a good follow up to In Style. Maybe I should give it a listen. I guess. Yeah, I uh, I, I think you'd like it. it just. Uh, well, if, I love the song. And so, uh, are you still hosting your own syndicated radio show? I do called called Country Music Greats Radio Hour. And uh, people can get information about that on your website, correct, Jim Ed? Uh-huh, they sure can. So are you still doing interviews on the program? Because I know sometimes you'd feature a guest and play their music, sort of. Yeah, I just I just had T. Graham Brown this morning. Oh, you, so you taped it this morning. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I love T. Graham Brown. He's so great. I love his soulful vocals. He, he's, a, he's, a real, he's a real fun guy to be around. I bet you had a great interview with him. We did. It was fun. And so I, I guess my, my last question would be, uh, I know we talked about the album, and uh, you mentioned that you still tour, and folks here, we are uh, broadcasting all across the country on the Internet. So uh, look up on Jim Ed Brown's website and uh, see jimedbrown.com and, and see if he's appearing near you and come out and see him. Sometimes he appears with Helen Cornelius or part of the Opry Package shows. And, I, I mean, you won't you won't regret coming out to see this true Grand Ole Opry legend. It's just a, he puts on a fabulous show, and you leave with some great entertainment. So I, I just wanted to mention that. But what else do you have planned for the future, Jim Ed? More of the same? Keep on putting out great music? Oh, yeah. yeah. The Rope, Rope Awards Banquet is tomorrow night, and uh, I'm presenting the Entertainer's Award uh, to the person, whoever is the Entertainer of the Years. Saturday, I'm in Scottsburg, Indiana. Friday, I'm on the Opry. Uh, you know, it's just it's constant things going on. A lot of things are happening all the time. Well, that's great. That I, I like that. I, I'm so I'm so glad and and really really proud for you that uh, your your career is still growing strong because often, as I said, you don't see that uh, too too much and uh, it couldn't happen to a more well deserving uh, artist as yourself, in my opinion. Well, I thank you very much. I appreciate that, Paul. Well, you're very welcome, Jim Ed. And we heard in style again earlier. But I'm going to play it again right now uh, as you leave us here. And I'll probably even play it again before the end of the show because it's just such a great song. And Jim Ed Brown, as far as I'm concerned, you've always been in style. Thanks again so much. Thank you so much, Paul. Appreciate it. Okay, take care.